We are back with <laughs> Dana Fuchs. Hey, uh, Dana, what about Patty Smith? <sighs> what a badass. Am I allowed to say that? Yeah, I absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what are some of those songs? Like, what did she do? Uh, 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 you ever heard that song, Dancing Barefoot? A lot of no. people know that one. That's a good one. It's, I don't. Yeah, that's okay. But she's unreal. She was cool, right? She was so cool. I, I honestly, you know, I knew the hits. The yeah. Because the Night. Yes. And then in Bryant Park, uh, six, seven years ago, she was doing a free concert. And I was like, well, I'm gonna go check this woman out because I know how amazing she is and what she stood for. And I literally, I was in the back and I was like a kid at a concert, just like moving people out of my way to get closer and closer. And I was weeping. I could not yeah, believe wow. just the power of her message, her, you know, her whole persona yeah. and the voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was great. My sister liked her. My sister was older and she, I was listening to the uh, the stylistics. This is when I was young, and Barry White, and she was listening to Joan Armatrading, mm. and Bowie, and uh, Patti Smith, and uh, you know mm -hmm. it was all that stuff. Let's do something fun. I just come up with games. It's who I am. Okay. Uh, we'll just go <laughs> around. Well, let's just do like some some odds, uh, some some uh, musicians that maybe a uh, guilty pleasure that you're embarrassed, like you know. Uh, Kylie Minogue or something. Are there any are there any pop singers or anything growing up? Did you like uh, the monkeys growing up or <laughs> anybody? I hated the monkeys. <laughs> okay. But I friggin' loved um Aria Speedwagon. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. And then who was the I remember my sister. I was a little girl and I would wake up every morning. My sister was like eight years older than I, and we shared a bedroom with because we had four brothers, and I would hear, I'm all out of love. Oh, yes. mm. Who was that? Uh, that's, I'm so uh, lost with uh, air supply. Air yeah. supply. I love that. Show. Hey, nice job. Because <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, job, I was thinking Leo Sayer. I was thinking of something else. Leo <laughs> Sayer. Yeah, air supply. They were bad. No, they were. They... Okay. Were you a big MTV watcher? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> oh I mean, my that, god. That, that was something that that came on in 1981, and it was just I, I couldn't turn it off. Oh, me either. So that was that was kind of the formative years for you watching video uh, oh absolutely like all i remember is sweet dreams made oh yeah you know, uh, and it, oh. yeah right john let's play the game with so, you oh any guilty okay. any guilty uh anybody I uh i don't think so i'm proud of all of my musical <laughs> tapes. Yeah. i really am i mean well i guess guilty could be some of the hair bands from the late 80s yeah rap you know, yeah, rat. I mean, anything. Anyone that had a video at that point in time was a part of my lexicon because um, it was ingrained. We're, uh, rat. This is not. Yeah. Uh, this is not. I'm mean, not embarrassed by this. This is somebody who's cool, but because uh, I listed a lot of different stuff in the '80s. But I liked Eddie Money. Oh, sure. I loved him, and I loved. But here's what I I, I love. Uh, my favorite song was Shaken, but my my criticism was uh, the songwriting. His verse. The verse on his songs, not Shaken was good, the verse and the chorus, but what was that one with uh, Ronnie Spector, Take Me Home Tonight? Take Me Home the Tonight. The verse is great, but the chorus is not that Be good. Be my little baby. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of these, uh, <laughs> I got a wondering, a sweet angel. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but anyways, I liked Eddie Money, and I and I saw him uh, when I moved out to uh, San Francisco out of college at a uh, free, free concert at Golden Gate Park. And when you're 22 and he goes, we were, we were, we were freaking shaking, like when he swore, he swore, because it was live, and I go, oh my God, this is, crazy. Yeah. That's... you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, this is you kind of, do that this live. is kind of exciting, ladies and gentlemen, during the break, uh, I was watching Dana and John, they were trying to teach John how to scream, like, you know, scream, and because you, you were in a band, let's try it again, because yeah. she was trying to show you the simple yeah. aspect of it, you were struggling, but you won't now. I can't scream, I'm not a good screamer. Yeah. It's too I... just, like, I can't crack, her screams were amazing. Go ahead you know, blood curdling screams. Go ahead and help him again, like you were just all doing. Right. Well, you know, I had the same thing with all the little girls my age when we would play. We were in a horror movie. They had that high pitch, so yeah, you have to you start with like it. a wah, wah. No, less, less. Wah, wah. <laughs> See, Bring look how here. terrible that wah, is. Wah, 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 <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> wah. Okay. Now, I sound, now I sound like a Muppet. <laughs> no, wah! you got it. Oh, that was good. Wah! Wait. But, yeah. You're getting it. All right. Well, wah! I, I oh. You're bringing too much voice. Wah! You have to cut Maybe the voice off. Maybe that is. Off. I can't. Cut the voice off. I'm sorry. It's wah! Just... Hey, I have a good question. This is a, this is a deep question. <laughs> okay, okay. Trans, talk about transition, right? <laughs> yeah. um, I read a quote. It said, 
that you have deep personal experience with addiction and religious hypocrisy, <laughs> and that that's reflected in a lot of your lyrics. I mean, that's some deep stuff. Who writes that shit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, where did that come from? What 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 are you, we talking about here? You know, I grew up in a little small southern town, the Bible Belt. My my parents were from New York and New Jersey. I was two years old when my dad shipped the whole lot of us. I'm the baby of six kids to this tiny little village called Wildwood, Florida. No, I'm, I'm going to get a lot of people hating me after this. But it, it was literally like a segregated town, and you were either black on one side of the tracks or white on the other. And we really didn't fit in this Irish ca Catholic family with a father that was always screaming drunk every night, and you could hear him down the uh, hall. Oh, God, uh -huh. I hope my parents aren't watching. But anyway, so, you know, you would go into these churches, and I, I was sort of on this mission to find a place to belong. And... As a kid, I, I just remember being astounded by being told, well, yeah, you can you can come to this church and you can go to this little Bible school, but you can't talk to that black guy. And, and they actually use the N-word. Mm -hmm. you, you can't talk to that kid. And it was so confusing. And my oldest brother and sister were, were amazing musicians. And uh, my oldest brother, like, I remember there was like a record-burning ceremony in the shopping mall, and he burned all of his records. And he was done, and he actually sp spent the rest of his life like a recluse with a Bible in his in his bedroom. Wow. So, uh, wow. you know, I wrote a song about it called Bible Baby. And, you know, as, as time went on, of course, you see it happening all over the world, uh -huh. religious ideology and, and, and the absurdity of, of uh, what it brings about and, and, and people's values and views and how they actually completely skirt mankind and... and yeah. The important stuff justify some of their yeah yeah the madness right justify the madness by backing it up with verses right and you yeah. uh and you Incredible. this is a lot of the stuff you you write all your stuff yes or, yeah, good for you yeah that's good and, and wh when are you going next are you going out on tour anywhere or not yeah I, j I just got off the road it's been we were we were out five months the longest chunk i've been you know the tour behind this new cd um so i'm home a little bit and we've got some shows and you know the tri-state area i'm a new yorker now <laughs> and then it's it's back on the road in, in probably late january we'll yeah. wow. be hitting it it's you know a few hundred dates a year Jeez. <laughs> pleasure pleasure meeting you love your voice it's pleasure like, meeting yeah. you. yeah you you have when you're on stage you're, you're you're happiest right when you're singing is that like the... it's when i'm most comfortable yeah yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. happy is a is a big word <laughs> yeah. i'm existentially Comfortable. <laughs> yes. Well, the new wow. the album, uh, is this new or has this been around for a while? Bliss no, Avenue. It's new. Brand new, Bliss Few Avenue. Months. Pleasure meeting you. Thank you so Thank much, you. Dana Fuchs. We'll be right back. Stay with us. The Artie Lang Show, weeknights on audience, only on DirecTV.